Eddie Hub is an inclusive community where we focus on collaboration first and code second. Our community really is empowered to do this and they really carry the torch and I love what they do. And here is an example. So with me today, I have Karuna, Jay and Vi Vi V and we're going to learn more about them and their project that they built together and how they collaborated to get it deployed. And it's excellent. Uh, I'm in Hyderabad, uh, India and I'm a student right now. This project started at LSD Build itself. So it was like the task was the giftable project. So I wanted to make like, I saw you retweeting every tweet. So I wanted to make it easier. The main problem I got was like, when you authorize it, like in VS Code, it gave me so many errors and uh, like it wasn't getting authorized. So I had to do it manually from Jupyter Notebooks and uh, have to do it from terminal also it was really painful at that time so later on like when i uh, i put that in our discord channel the problem so jay contacted me and said like i had experience with the bot so i can help you out so we got involved in this way he made that contribution and helped me complete that project Awesome. So great collaboration there. I saw ViviV's uh, logo come up for a second, which is good. The usual potato that we all know and love. <laughs> Um, so that's awesome. So another community member reached out and, and said so, and, and Jay's here and said, you know, can I help? So that's awesome. So the Twitter bot, cause I did see it online sometimes, and then sometimes I would see it offline. So it was really good, yes, to get it deployed. So it's always online. And I love the quote system. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to that. So Jay, what what happened next? I'm about to complete my graduation, uh, and my first experience uh, with building a Twitter bot was around a year back when I was, when just Corona started. So I came up with this idea that I'll take uh, like, uh, there are a lot of APIs with, where you can uh, grab uh, latest Corona, uh, like the number of people who are infected, uh, uh, got cleared and all in all. So I thought I'll extract, extract those information, make it into a thread, Twitter thread. I did that, but then I had to run that every day for once so that it adds to that Twitter thread. That was my first interaction. Then I came uh, across this uh, another API that was that basically gave you punny uh, jokes, dad jokes. I, I love pun jokes, so I made a Twitter bot and deployed it on Heroku, which basically uh, posts one pun jokes uh, per hour. So I deployed it, deployed it on Heroku and then I saw uh, Karuna's problem. I said, okay, yeah, I have, I have experience with making two bots uh, so I can help with her. I almost had like a template sort. I just uh, copied that template, pasted, shared it with her and with some editing and all here and there, it started working manually at least, yeah. And then we uh, went ahead and deployed it on Heroku yesterday. Awesome. And we have uh, Vi Vi V with us, who's always helping everyone uh, in our community as well, um, who's super active. So Vi Vi V, tell us about yourself. Uh, where are you and what are you up to at the moment? Are you studying? Uh, yeah, I'm studying um, engineering simulations because I need to clear those get into a uh, computer science course on an IT course. And um, I've been doing Python and recently i've been exposed to web development fields so i'm uh, experimenting in those areas uh, my contribution to this project was not a lot like uh, i i didn't do anything i think i just made one suggestion but i am making a flask api right now to deliver our community codes and other dev developer codes so i'm making that right now we could integrate that with this bot you say one suggestion, but I can't count on like two, one or two hands, how many times your one <laughs> suggestions have helped me out. So yeah. um, it helps a lot. So we all really, really appreciate it um, for always helping everybody on Discord and also joining the conversation here today. The app, so the Twitter bot now is deployed on Heroku, which is uh, which is awesome. And each time you want to make a change, like an improvement, do you have to manually deploy it at the moment? What happens is that you had uh, it. Uh, there are two options. I think the first one that Karuna tried was uh, integrating it directly with GitHub, uh, but there was some security flaws with that. Uh, so you went ahead, like we created a separate uh, Git 
uh, repo and we just have to push that git repo, git repo to the Heroku. And every time we make a change, we can uh, commit new change and push it back and it will deploy itself. That's why I basically I chose Heroku. Like I suggested Karuna that we should deploy in Heroku because the changes are they can be uh, updated about very easily. Yeah. Heroku comes with a pipeline with which you could uh, update your project whenever there's a push to a particular branch on your project. So that is, uh, personally, I find that very convenient because I could I just have one branch for deploy and I just merge changes into that whenever I want to update my applications. So that's okay, yeah. convenient about Heroku. Oh, nice. I haven't used Heroku in a long time. So that's obviously a new feature that's, that's come out, I guess, in the last few years. Rather than pushing, it can watch the branch and then kind of, you know, grab the changes and deploy it. Nice. There's always more and more improvements uh, can be made to, to projects. I guess that's something that uh, you can add later on as well. That's awesome. And you also do quotes now, because initially the bot started off with retweeting the hashtag EddieHub. And I've noticed yeah. recently now that it also replies with quotes. Is that correct? Yeah. And where did the quotes come from? Do you have like a JSON file? Yeah, we made a different file like uh, quotes.py. So from there, it get, gets the quotes. Yeah, uh, so after maybe VY completes this project, we can use this API. Uh, right now, it doesn't have a lot. I guess it has five or six. Um, so it might be repeating a lot. Uh, but yeah, I guess we should open it to community for adding more. Absolutely. Yeah. Is the project open source? Yeah. yeah. I think, awesome. I think Corona Definitely. added contributions, uh, contributions guide yeah, also recently. Add. Anything else any of you would like to add? Twitter actually blocks if you do a lot of activity using a bot. Blocks right. the user or the bot, whatever it is. So you have to moderate your bot to keep that in check. I, I got to know from my uh, pun bot <laughs> about this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I was tweeting like uh, once every 30 minutes. So it started blocking my bot. I had to manually uh, accept that I'm a human and all like those, those things capture. Right, I, see. Uh, I guess thing, the uh, PR is merged right now. Uh, I just updated yeah. uh, one thing that the bot will now do some activity, a fixed amount of activity, and then it go back go to sleep for 22 hours and then it will again wake up and see all the tweets that happened in the last two hours and it will again do it, his thing its thing yeah so karuna with your project what's what do you have in mind next like what's your next kind of ideas that you have uh, there was one idea like uh, for quotes like we we wanted to use something like template for the quotes uh, if you have seen the other dictionary bot like how it if we tag it it replies in something with the template, like a background picture and the matter on it. So I have seen your pictures, like you were holding a board. Uh, so I thought that I can use and paste the quotes on it and then it can reply to. Wow. So that picture I wanted to add. <laughs> that would be so cool if you can put the quote on the board. Karuna, your ideas are so creative. I remember from local hack day at the MIH Hackathon, just the ideas you come up with are really outside the box and amazing. That's so cool. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm not going to be able to sleep now until, it, until it's done. Uh, do you have like a timeline roughly in mind? Like one week, two weeks, a month, three months? Just so I can try and sleep a bit better now. <laughs> Uh, I think Corona will tell. I, I'm, I just contribute whenever I have time. Thank you again so much for collaborating together, helping each other out, and for joining me and recording this. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Definitely. Thank you. That was thank fun. You. Thank you. I'll see you Bye. on Discord. Bye. Bye. See you on Discord. Bye. Oh, I see the potato running around the screen. <laughs> <laughs>